that dungeon has um, a couple items that I could use for PvP. And uh, something very important is uh, PvP trinkets. There is an insignia trinket with the same like this one. Uh, removing stun and whatever 5 minute cooldown. But also with 20 shadow resistance. Shadow resistance is big in PvP. Resisting fear, silences. It's really, really tough. So there is that PvP trinket. And another something very important for me personally. The Vampiric Touch Rune drops from the new dungeon. That's important for me to get as well. And every boss drops those like uh, coins or whatever they are called. There are rings we can buy with them. Really nice PvP rings. This uh, tarnished feel. Oh, I see. You enter the dungeon here. I need to equip the trinket. Oh, and I see the entrance. Damn. Entrance appears. We need this trinket. The dungeon is in Ashenvale, but we need to do a quest in uh, Hellwood. That gives us this trinket. And then with the trinket you enter. One little quest. It's like an attunement, let's say. Alright, I respect to PvE. I equip the PvE. And then I need uh, Pain and Suffering. Uh, shared Pain. My PvE boots have uh, Void Plague. Void Zone and Pines here. I'm gonna go with AoE first. Uh, this guy is gonna be immune to my... Oh no, it's not. May not need actually as much AoE as I'm prepared for. I can easily change the rune. I'm gonna have multiple, uh, multiple uses here. The Vampiric Embrace, you know. Vampiric Embrace healing. So the damage meter of course I forgot the And always have When I did my first BRD run I was not putting the Empiric Embrace It's so much healing And now it's also healing more Because of the They changed Mind Seer It got buffed Mind Seer makes it so your main target Also Main target also takes damage. Not only the targets around him, so that's very good. Very good thing about it. Where do I spend most my most recent talents? On discipline here. Station. That was not in shadow form. Oh, I pulled behind, whoops. Sorry. But we should stay melee range like this. Oh, we got PI. Insane. Stay melee range like this, we're not gonna have the guy charging. Most are level 61, so it's a little bit uh, resisting. What is the fear ward, bro? A little bit of resist here and there. I have a few points on Shadow Fog. Gonna need more. I have 6% from the rune on the ring. It gives, gives hit. For two mobs, is worth it to do mine here, right? Because it's the main target, like mine play. I'm gonna use a potion.
Where is my fear ward? I have to drink too. Oh, I'm getting inner bait. Oh my god. Oh man. Where is the boss dodge shit on the floor? Green shit. Alright, alright. Who is the first boss? I guess that guy. Level 62, holy shit. I'm gonna change to Shadow or Death. More single target. The Despair. Who's gonna stand with the melee? Just dot the ad, I guess. The dot will die to uh, the melee. The melee is cleaving, and my my dot. The ad will die. new buff to the helm rune pain and suffering refreshing both void plague and uh, in other words pain both of the dots that's a lot of resisting man what the fuck How many uh, bosses are here? Wow, my damage is pretty low, I think, because of resisting. So Increases your nature damage by up to 115 and chance to hit. Damn, man. Your damage. Any boomkins? What is that an elite? Please do damage on trash. Redeem myself for the shit damage on the bosses. Mainly because of resisting, it's like what can you do? about the vampiric embrace healing guys utility oh remember this interaction when the healer priest uses shadow melt oh my god this guy is gonna one shot me stop dps a bit the shadow uh the prayer of mending from the healer priest bounces from the healing i do with the embrace this used to be your own combo earlier, I used to heal like this. The early phases. I redeemed myself a little bit there, I was number one at one point on the crush. Wait, that's boss number two already? Wait, is this dungeon like short as hell? Bosses are next to each other. Ah, little demonic runes. Alright, so what's uh, the tacts? The tactics here. You monkey lie? Change three runes. Get out of AoE basically. Alright, get out of the AoE. Oh shit! I pulled because I'm. It's red level for me. I'm 
gonna focus a little bit more on the trash especially my time to redeem myself yeah that's not a curse something that we can this look at that is sick though void plague and shadow word pain once once applied you don't you apply them because the mind spike and the mind blast are refreshing them you're gonna be so sick in raid Nothing. sadly i'm resisting a bunch here so it's like getting carried on bosses i need more points on my hit talent or maybe it's my level I guess I will not do it or before I'm 60. The curse on this because it is a shit ton of them. This pole arm is pretty good, man. A lot of Aji. What dropped for a druid? For a druid dropped uh, on use nature damage. And it gives 1% hit with spells. You know that trinket. The Pharaoh Druid needed on the pole arm, so grats, I guess. Somebody got something. Uh, this is the one that dropped earlier that's a boss and i swapped to my i swapped to my single target runes i mean i swapped to my aoe runes tell me he summons adds or something i guess void zone is still useful on him but PI Maybe better to the lock <laughs> PI on me is bonka guy doesn't really do anything he just stuns can i outrange it only thing i haven't tried oh yeah he throws this shit that pins you know oh i can't outrange it i'm like i'm in africa and i still can't outrange it. just something we have to deal with Keeps resisting my vampiric embrace. I can't help you with the heat. But now I am. I guess this boss is harder for melee because the melee just died. Maybe some shit happens at melee. I'm gonna res him to help you. I'm in combat. Neck. 11 stamina, 7 defense. Tank. The lock needed it, so someone will find it useful. That's what we want. Another tarnished reel. I have 12 of those total. The tarnished things. 50 of those. I can buy a ring for PvP. That's really sick. 50 of those. I can buy a ring that on on hit when people hit me, there is a chance that they get stunned or feared. It's one ring that stuns and one that fears. Nice DPS. Yeah, thank you, man. What can you do? It's my DPS. Getting carried a bit. 
I wanted to come to the dungeon early on show it and do it early on this would have been a struggle if the entire group was at my level okay so I guess we need to go that way and we need to wait the patrol kill it anyways Mind. dot on all of them what zone mine's here go and beat my dps even if you're 60 with some gear shit it's beating my dps swipe getting erect by swipe guy randomly drops aggro just need him to not one shot me before the the tank picks him up one button build are nice are you making fun of my rotation? They made Shadow Priest this way that once you put your initial dots after that the mind blast and the mind, mind spike refreshes it. Refreshes my dots, so what can I do? I'm just like I'm playing what they gave me. That boss, that's not boss. But I see a lot of single target. Hey 59! Something that's not orange level or red level. How big of a challenge would have been if I made a group with uh, people at my level and we did this dungeon? I think we would be wiping. Ah shit, I forgot. I have two consumes still from the previous phase. Why am I not in shadow form? We are already probably almost done and I forgot to take the two consume. So this way maybe I do a little bit more. Stop sucking. It's gonna be a void zone mines here. My favorite was TBC Destrolock as a spam shadow bolt the hardest rotation as well mm. 2.1k mind blast crit after three mind seals i mean mind spikes all right so who is the boss here have to clear all of this in most of it Do we go there in the cave as well oh my god it's like a fellwood cave dude this dungeon is actually long we have killed like three or four bosses so they want to skip with me what if i pull because they are orange for Thank you, Sarwi. Just he says, just kill them. For me, it's XP. So yes, just kill them. Any idea what's the lore for this dungeon? Uh, I don't know man sorry I don't know lore oh yeah we do need to go in the cave that's probably where it ends there's a chance I pull here I'm gonna try to skip like y'all did but
Did I pull that? No. The warrior did. Hey, relax. This guy telling us to fuck you? No, fuck you! He's clicked. Fuck you. Ah, misclick, sorry. So this is this is like a combination of Ashenvale and Fellwood. This is the Fellwood cave, you know. I'm gonna start needing on those then. You bloody! You bloody! We're keeping a super good pace. This is a good material for uh, for the YouTube channel to do it like a full run, full dungeon run, like the hardcore. I was playing hardcore. Dungeons were a big part of the experience for me on one of my characters and with that character i was just like putting full dungeon run full dungeon with commentary yep. i guess uh, right now we're going for the last boss Nice, warrior hooked the, the mob that was casting. That's why you appreciate the hook. And what I like to see is that we have 3-4 mobs crash packs. So I can finally do some damage. What is this? Oh. Magic, I think it said magic. Am I able to skip it? Pull, pull. Fuck, I had a whisper. Uh, this is an undead, so I can't even um, mind suit it. My bad on that one. Well, I wouldn't say I'm useless. I'm almost at the damage of the warrior DPS. Another what DPS. I wouldn't say I'm useless, but uh, as a level 60, I guess. Or maybe with just more points on this. This is my sunken temple raid spec and I... If I res was resisting less, I would uh, definitely be doing damage. I wouldn't say completely useless, and you have to take in mind the Vampiric Embrace healing, which so far is as much as the Warlock and the Healer Priest. It's actually healing a very serious amount. But uh, yeah, not useless, but a higher level I would have done a bit better I'm mostly saying it because the warlock he saw me he was like this priest level 57 DPS too low first he was a little bit negative and I'm like no it's fine I have sunken temple biz gear you know yeah, but it's not helping so much. You know what's the good thing? I'm gonna have pre-beast dagger right away at 60. Because I have uh, exalted um, a ratty base and rep from the previous phases. And there is a dagger with spell power and crit. So immediately I'm gonna have beast. Gonna have previous. Wait, sec, 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 sec. 
Bingo target. Kill the lashers in phase two. Okay, so I'm gonna keep not mines here, but void zone. I'm gonna keep one of my AOE spells. Kill the lashers. Increase the damage of the warrior with my debuffs from my humunculi. Are static and they are better focused single target. Never mind, I didn't need a whisk spell for this. This is all it was. About the tactics of damn it's resisting so that's a shoulder is it a cloth shoulder leather healing help uh, healing spirit and stamina and loot skip wait for the path to be gone maybe i pull it finally a yellow mob I go this way so I don't pull the patrol. Yes, huh? What do you have to say about that? Five of wilds. Wild even good? Expensive? And more AoE incoming. What's up now? Okay, is that a boss? Oh yeah. Target. Boss. Tactics? Wow. 
guy does AOE shadow bolts so. The curse that we give healing And the uh, magic sleep uh, Curse I think we'll need the curses Because this guy is about the cursing and dispelling A sleep that's undispellable He put the curse only once at the start Slaps the tank very hard See that the healer is Oom Gonna delete the tank Gonna try to heal well Tell me I have to kill him. That's so close. Is it that the the longer the fight goes, the stronger this guy gets? Healer oomed earlier because of uh, curses, I think, that reduced healing at the start. The first, if the if he only puts the curses one time, I think if we get a decurse on that, look at how noticeable is the AoE healing from the Vampiric Embrace. This is the type of boss where you want it. What's the lock healing with? Ah, I drain life. And his shadow shield is considered a heal. Absorb. He just charge and one shot the pet. What the fuck? Nice. My previous vampiric embrace resisted. Now I got it. much easier oh agi stamina 12 attack power oh my god that is sick yeah i got the loot thank you i got the real Click on gate after. All right. So we click on the gate, and now we are at the boss. I just swapped my runes to AOE. I need to target again. There is so many bosses in this dungeon. That's very nice. Just avoid shit on the floor.
the warrior says the last time i did the kicks i apparently got shit timing and couldn't kick the veil okay so on the previous boss that's why we that's why we wiped the warrior this time the kicks apparently it's very important to be on point with the kicks makes sense the cd on innervate are we gonna wait innervate no go let's do it then i give you my debuffs do i have a pyrrhic embrace now i do it's uh this feral is pumping the dps so hard oh he charges maybe if we gather if we gather at melee he won't have anyone to charge but then maybe he does something else i'm gonna stay range so maybe he has a chance to charge me instead of the healer what if he charges the healer but I'm afraid if he charges me, it might be a one-shot. Targeted for a second there. Ah. The spinning weapon to dude i'm resisting my embraces i'm doing half of the healer's heal but i can't put my embrace again this is like this is this dungeon overall is very good for a shadow priest so much aoe healing with embrace but it's resisting i can't put it i'm annoyed Okay, finally, I, I got it now. Up, humunculi, back off, seat. My pet. Maybe I need to start reapplying embrace when when it has very little left not when it expires like now seconds left so i have multiple chances to do it oh he's eating me or something i guess if we're way too slow the room is gonna be full of these We lost the best DPS, the Pharaoh Druid. He's still number one on the meter even though he died a minute ago. The room is gonna be filled with this spa spinning bots. now he dies he's coming for me fuck no he's not got him got his ass is this it guys is this the last the last boss that's a pvp trinket Chris's run speed by 40 for 10 seconds with a three minute cooldown and 20 frost resistance that's utility that's pvp for everybody I'm gonna need on this because my combination with with dispersion and a sprint like that that's a sprint it's very good escape in pvp and here is where i'm going to loot my learning it my rune vampiric touch on the back 
Back rune, vampiric touch. Let's fucking go. Alright. Nice. Very nice. Where is it? The runes? Vampiric touch. Hell yeah. I'm gonna make a macro for dispersion and void plague. Because I can I can only have uh, one of the two equipped. So dispersion and void plague on the same slot. The one I have equipped, that's the one that the macro will cast. Well, sucked a little bit that uh, my lower level actually had an effect. Uh, I was resisting quite a decent amount. I was still not like out DPS'd by a lot, but I was out DPS'd by the others. Uh, so that sucked a bit, but uh, my healing was great. And of course, Shadow Priest brings the utility with the Humunculi, debuffs, blah blah blah. No need to say it. Compensated for the DPS a bit maybe. But I got Frost Resistance and Run Speed. This is the little, uh, you know this one? The nifty stopwatch from the Badlands questing. But it's a 30 minute cooldown. It's a little 3 minute cooldown. 3 minute only. It's sick for PvP. With a dispersion combo. And I got my Vampiric Touch rune. So there it is. That's the new dungeon, and we even got some nice stuff from it. Can I, help you? I could do it more, to get more of these uh, reels. Definitely will do more, because I have 15 and I need 50 for an item. Actually, 2 times 50 for 2 items. And um, I'm gonna need from the last boss the trinket, that's the insignia. To remove stuns and shadow and uh, shadows, shadow... Uh, Resistance. One is frost resistance. Nice. Nice, nice. GG. That was the new dungeon. GG. It was a fun one, actually. A lot of bosses. A lot of good loot.